Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I am going to practically demonstrate how to handle bootstrap dropdown fields. So let's get started. First of all, what exactly are these bootstrap dropdown fields and how they are different from the normal dropdown fields? So before going there, Okay, to find out what exactly are these bootstrap dropdown fields and how they are different from the normal dropdown fields, let's first understand this term known as bootstrap. What is this bootstrap? Okay, so let's find it out. Okay, what exactly is this bootstrap? Bootstrap is a popular open source front end web development framework. Guys. Okay, who will use this bootstrap? It is a framework. Guys. Okay, it's an open source front end uh, web development framework used by developers to develop the front end of the applications, okay? To build the UI of the application, to build the UI elements on the application, okay? So we generally use HTML, CSS, JavaScript to uh, develop the front end, okay? Developers will use a HTML, CSS, JavaScript, right? Similarly, developers can use a bootstrap, okay? Which is a framework. It's an open source front end web development framework can be used by the developers, okay? To build the front end of the application, to develop the front end of the application, but why developers have to go with this framework? They already have this HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, right? Then why developers have to go with this kind of framework? You see, this framework, that is Bootstrap framework, consists of some templates which are built on the top of, which are built with the help of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, okay? Something is, you know, pre-ready for you, okay? So you can create something good with the existing stuff. Rather than building everything from scratch, right? There will be some templates in this framework using which Okay, these templates are created using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. By selecting these templates, we can create something very good, guys. Very good designs we can create. Very, you know, easy to use kind of things we can create. Okay, so all this stuff. All this stuff are possible with the help of this Bootstrap, guys. So, let me show you now. So, Bootstrap is a framework that's already clear. Okay, which, uh, which can be used for developing the front end in a more customized and creative way or better way or good way or good looking way, whatever you call it. Fine. It consists of classes and utilities. Okay. It's got nothing but templates. By using these classes, so which use the templates and all from the bootstrap to style and customize the appearance and behavior of the dropdown. If you go with a normal dropdown field, guys, okay. If I go and show you a normal dropdown field, how does which is built using the normal HTML? Okay. So if you see this dropdown field, it looks very simple, guys. You see, this dropdown field is very simple. Okay, no one nowadays, all the good applications we have in the market, right? They don't use this kind of very simple drop down fields. Okay, the look and feel of the drop down fields that we really see on the live applications are completely different from whatever we are seeing here, which is built with the help of the normal HTML code. So, no more people are using the normal drop down HTML code. Okay, so people things have been got very advanced where some kind of templates like this bootstrap framework given templates are there using which we can very we can create or build some good looking or customizable, okay? Customizable kind of drop down fields or any other fields, not only drop down, but also any other fields, guys, okay? Bootstrap is not just for drop down fields, right? It can be used for building any type of elements on the web pages with different templates, different ideas, and all those stuff, okay? Customizations and all. So, as I already shown you, Bootstrap drop down is similar to the drop down field. But with good appearance and customization, guys. Okay, here you see this is a normal drop down field. If I take you to one drop down field, uh, which looks very good, for example, I'll take you to this example application website. I'll copy this URL. Okay, I'll copy this URL from here getbootstrap.com docs 4.0 component drop downs. If I, if I take you to this uh, URL, right, you will find some kind of you know buttons will be there. Look wise, these are buttons, guys. You see, drop down button. If you click on this button, what's happening? All the options are coming. Okay, here also, you see. All these options are coming. Whatever you do here, large button, whatever. The, these are all bootstrap. Okay. They are built to you with the help of a bootstrap, guys. Okay. Different models, varieties are there. You see, that doesn't look at like a drop down field, right? Uh, instead, instead, we have a button here, or you can go to some websites, guys. Okay. I'll show you one more example. If you go to the hdfcbank.com, this is a live application that uh, everyone knows, right? They don't use a normal drop down field, guys. If you go to this hdfc.com, hdfcbank.com application, you see there are some. Uh, some fields here, if you click on this field, some options are coming. They look like a drop down, but you know, uh, they are not like a normal drop down field. The look and feel of this drop down field on the HDFC bank is very good, right? The proper borders are when you select the highlights are happening. 
arrow is in a proper shape and stylish way it is there and you know you can have a scroll bar here select the options here all these things are there guys okay this is not a normal drop down field it, it's built with the help of this uh, bootstrap okay framework okay by the developers the developers are using the bootstrap uh, framework uh, they have chosen some templates for building this kind of bootstrap drop downs not always this uh, drop down fields will be like this for example in some cases there will be a button guys when you select the button you will get all these options okay this is also a bootstrap drop down only okay in some cases there will be some hyperlink guys okay there will be some hyperlink i don't have an example for that here uh, here button is there here most of the cases buttons are there in this page right so buttons and drop down options are coming in some cases you will have a hyperlink or menu option just select that you will get the options okay in different ways bootstrap can be used to build this kind of drop down fields uh, okay so good looking drop down fields customizable okay so how to handle this kind of uh, bootstrap drop down fields normal drop down fields if i inspect guys if i inspect this normal drop down field here just see when i inspect this normal drop down field it will have a select tag as it is they are built using the select html tag but if you go with this bootstrap drop down field for example this is a bootstrap drop down only right to containing this different option but look and feel is completely different from the drop down field the internal working is a drop down only inspect this when you inspect this guys you see the html code is already there here i don't have to inspect you the same html code is being displayed here button is there for this button when you click on the button what should happen these options are coming like this the code is written okay normally there is no 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 possibility of the select tag anywhere here you see there are there are only html tags no select tags okay these are only html tags uh not but not select tag okay other than select tags we all they have the tags then in this kind of situation how to handle this bootstrap drop downs for example, if you take this website and if you have to handle a bootstrap drop down, uh, if you have to select an option here, okay. So whatever you select, nothing will happen here because this these are uh, dummy things, okay. These are not real ones, right? You can you can select anything, guys, and uh, you know nothing will happen here. Just for the sake, uh, this is an example drop down field, and this is HTML code. Uh, uh, the template you can say bootstrap template you can say otherwise okay the template uh, which is available from the bootstrap uh, you can use for building this kind of button okay instead of problem field so this kind of buttons if you want to put it on the website this is html code you have to write okay this html template we have to write okay that's the thing nothing much but how to handle this kind of drop down fields and how to select the options here i'm going to practically show you now so this session is all about uh how to use selenium python to handle the bootstrap drop down uh, I'll take this as an example, guys. For example, this particular drop down button as an example. I will select this option and select one of the options here. Okay. So, how to do that? Very simple, guys. And then uh, we, we don't have to go with any commands of Selenium Python, like, you know, select commands and all those are not like, select by visible text. Those commands are not at all required, guys. Here, very, very simple. Normal click command will be enough. Okay. Selenium Python's click command is enough for selecting this option. So it's nothing more than that. So, come to this uh, Python and here give the URL. Copy this URL and paste it here. Once you go to this application URL, once you go to this application URL, now, you know, inspect this. Inspect this, guys. Okay, inspect that. And you'll get this uh, HTML code. Okay, for this button, you'll get this HTML code. Where there's an ID here. Copy this ID. And come back here and write down driver dot find element by dot ID. Give the ID of that button and uh, copy this ID. Drop down menu button is the uh, ID of this button, you see, and uh, paste it here and simply the dot click guys. Okay, just click on that, uh, you know, just click on this uh, bootstrap drop down button. And once you click on this, all these options will be displayed to you. You just select one of the options, guys. Okay, let's select the actions, uh, action kind of option, inspect that. And here we have this, uh, you know, anchor tag, but there's no proper locator drop down item is there, but you know, text action we have to see. Okay, otherwise we'll do something, but there are multiple actions here. We cannot go with that. So I'll try to do one thing. I'll just take this, you know, uh, because in other drop down fields also, there is a same action option is there. Okay. It is better to go with something unique. Uh, that is, uh, I'll inspect this drop down button under that. These options are there. This particular drop down button has a ID. I'll take this ID and pre create a X path expression, double slash button, uh, square bracket, add the ID is equal to give the ID of that uh, button. And under this button, we have this option, right? Simply say slash a, all the three of, uh, Double slash otherwise, okay. Directly I'm jumping right? double slash. Eh? I'll remove this again. Okay, that's fine. So this button under this, we don't have the anchor tags. Uh, there is a following sibling tag here. First, we have to go to the following sibling, following hyphen sibling colon colon div. Now this div tag under this div tag we have the anchor tag slash. 
when i say slash the three options are coming guys okay one of three is coming i'll give a of one then first option only will be taken into consideration copy this xpath expression here for demo purpose i'll give time dot sleep and i'll give some three seconds after selecting this drop down uh, menu button you know after a delay of three seconds uh, this uh, actions option will be selected by dot find element by dot xpath give the xpath expression and give the xpath expression and say simply dot click now run this code and observe that we, we are able to handle the bootstrap model dialogs. Uh, I mean, drop downs, okay? Bootstrap uh, drop down fields. Earlier, we have seen bootstrap model dialogs also. At that time, I didn't explain what is a bootstrap. Now I'm explaining though. That's fine. Never let. So let it, you see, it has clicked on the drop down button. After three seconds, you see, it has selected the actions option. Okay, this is how we have to handle this bootstrap drop down fields using Selenium Python. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye.